Friends, I'm so glad that you started another daily walk with God. And today, maybe we can think a little bit about if you're feeling empty or lost. You know, we've been going for many months now with this COVID-19 and isolation and social distancing. I hope rather we think of it as social witnessing, right? Be a blessing. Go out and show people that you're a person of God and that you have confidence that God is in control and that the future is always going to be in His hands. Maybe, you know, we're wondering what source are we relying on? Perhaps you've taken it upon yourself to make a decision, maybe moving, or maybe you're taking a job or thinking of a career change, or maybe you're just frustrated with how do you communicate to others when everyone's telling you to avoid people and to stay at home or to stay in place or to don't be in contact with others. How do you adjust to this living in silence? Could it be that we're looking for the world to satisfy the need? Well, friends, you cannot get filled with worldly things because worldly things never satisfy. Come to the Lord with your heart and say, Fill me up, Lord. I need you. Only you can satisfy. For our Lord and Savior is the bread of life. He can strengthen you and sustain you. You may need to leave your current place or your current job or find new friends or be filled by coming to church and participating with those who are praising and giving you thanks. For we find in Hosea chapter 10, tell us, sow righteousness for yourselves, reap the fruit of unfailing love, and break up your unplowed ground. For it is time to seek the Lord until he comes and showers his righteousness on you. Revisit God's word of truth and root out weeds of bitterness, weeds of legalism, le weeds of unforgiveness, weeds of unbelief, of distrust. S instead, sow seeds of righteousness, sown into your heart that they may take root and bloom, that you may be a blessing to all those around you. Find grace in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and turn to the cross. Go out and give them heaven, folks.